three. Creed goes by. Burton gets into the back bumper. Hemrick and turns him. Hemrick spins up the racetrack, collects two, three, four, five other cars. A massive accident in turn number four. Tons of heavy impacts. One car is upside down. It's a Daniel Hemrick car on his lid. Austin Hill is involved. Ryan Sieg involved. The 53 car is involved. Several massive incidents and about 10 cars stopped down here on the trioval at the entry to three and four. Huge crash. Daniel Hemrick's car has come to a rest upside down. Significant damage on more than, what, a dozen race cars. Dylan Welch at your feet. Oh, my goodness. And there were some incredible impacts over here at the exit of turn number four. Somebody came up the racetrack and absolutely thundered the outside wall. Riley Herbst is stopped down here as well. Window net still up on his race car. Ryan Sieg is backing away and driving from the scene. Herbst puts his window net down. That's a good sign. Medical teams attending to Daniel Hemrick, who is upside down still. And Chandler Smith has also stopped over here with heavy front end damage. Safety crews tending to him as well. What an impact uh, over and over and over. It seemed like they just kept piling in. There was probably 15 cars over here involved at the exit of turn four. And I would say half of those cars junk and on pit road. Somebody's on fire headed down pit road as we speak. I can't make out exactly which car Joey that was. Joey Gase is the driver that uh, has some fire out of the left side of that race car. He's made it to his pit box and uh, the field looks like they're going to have to come to a rest. Looks like we're going under the red flag for a second time, but we are headed to overtime here at Talladega for the 11th time in the last 22 Talladega races and only the second time this year the Xfinity Series will go into overtime. The other one was back at Daytona. All right, it appears as though Dylan Welch, they are trying to get the car of Daniel Hemrick back on all fours. What do you see from your vantage point? Yeah, he stopped right at my feet here and, and crews are tending them and, and talking to Daniel inside the race car. Uh, I think they're going to wait to try and get him out at least until they get the car back right on its wheels, uh, which they have the tow truck there now and they're trying to attach the, the hook to that to get it get it righted. Uh, we did see Riley Herbst get out of the race car, and I believe Ryan Sieg is in the process of getting out of the race car right now, but uh, the main focus right now is on Daniel Hemrick's car, which again sits upside down on its roof here on the apron uh, at the exit of turn four. So Mike Bagley, under the red flag, we're going to overtime with all the attention to all the cars crashing hard off turn four. Who's left? We have 13 cars that right now sit on the racetrack, about to be joined by a 14th. That 14th car is coming out of turn two. From what I can tell from my position, the first car behind the pace car is Jeb Burton, then Sheldon Creed, and then everybody has uh, come to a stop. But a total of 14 cars now remain on the backstretch. All right, Mike. We will, uh, we're hearing now from NASCAR Red Flag. Mike pointing out, what remains of this field is now on the back straightaway. Uh, we'll take you back through the block gone wrong after we take this time out. Unofficially, Jeb Burton, Sheldon Creed, Parker Kligerman, Brennan Poole, and Kyle Sieg. Again, unofficially, your top five under the red flag. AMR safety team on the spot. Daniel Hemrick's car has been righted, and now they will work to get him out of the race car. We will update that for you immediately once we and come back. And he's climbing out, Jeff. He, is, uh, he just emerged from the race car, Some good, so good news here for Daniel Hemrick. All right, Dylan, thank you very much. Uh, that is absolutely great news. Hemrick up and out of the race car. We work under the red flag from Talladega Super Speedway. This is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. Two. Now this one off of turn number four. Uh, we'll document how it all started in just a moment. Time after time, replay after replay, it becomes more and more, I'm going to use the word impressive, only in the fact of the number of cars that were involved, the impacts that they made, and basically on everything that we know, the drivers all able to get out of their cars. That was one massive crash off turn number four. And Dylan Welch, you mentioned some of the hardest hits you've been able to witness. 